Chamomile is a drink that many people enjoy around the world. But did you know that chamomile tea, as you know it, is a lie? Chamomile claims to be a tea, but behind those little white petals lies a more sinister secret. Chamomile is not actually a tea at all, but rather an herbal infusion, masquerading as a tea and tarnishing its good name. It lures people in with its calming aroma and pleasant taste, but little do they know they are not drinking a tea at all. In this video, we're going to explore why chamomile is not a type of tea, why it matters, and why you should still drink it anyways. Before we get started, it would really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for future tea investigations. We have hundreds of videos on all sorts of different teas, but for this episode, we're going to focus on chamomile. Without further ado, let's get started. So, before we expose chamomile for the fraud that it is, let's just take a brief look at its history, health benefits, and taste characteristics. Chamomile can trace its roots back to ancient times, where it was used by the Egyptians and the ancient Romans. Chamomile flowers were infused into hot water, made into salves, creams, and incense. The Egyptians would prescribe chamomile as a remedy for the cold, and it was also used for a wide array of different ailments throughout history. There are two major types of chamomile being used today. Roman chamomile, which is native to Europe, North Africa, and parts of Asia, and German chamomile, which is also grown in Europe. You won't find much of a difference just by looking at the two flowers, but there is a difference in the taste and the growing of these two plants. The German chamomile is slightly sweeter and it grows annually, so it needs to be replanted each year. The Roman chamomile is slightly more bitter, but it's a perennial plant, so it doesn't need to be replanted. A million cups of chamomile are consumed every day. The flavor of chamomile is slightly sweet with notes of apples and dried honey, but it also has a distinct floral tone. After all, it is just flowers soaked into hot water. Many people drink chamomile before bed as a way to make them feel sleepy and cozy. Two of the key components in chamomile are called apigenin and chrysin. Both of these have been shown to have anti-anxiety and sedative effects, and apigenin is thought to be protective against certain cancers. Although chamomile tea may help you sleep, it's hiding a dark secret that may keep you up at night. Okay, maybe we've over-exaggerated a little bit. We at Neo Teas have no problem with chamomile, and you should absolutely drink it if you enjoy the taste. The one thing is that if you really want to understand the world of tea, the first thing to know is that all tea comes from the same plant, Camellia sinensis. If something comes from another plant, it is not considered a tea, but rather an herbal infusion. The reason this is important is because you must understand that the difference in flavors of true teas like green tea, black tea, and white tea come not from different plants, but from subtle differences in the production process. For instance, to produce a sweeter green tea, the farmer can shade the tea plant, causing it to retain more theanine in its leaves. In order to produce a flowery oolong tea, the farmer can bruise the leaves in a certain way to bring the enzymes to the surface of the leaf so they can be exposed to oxygen. To produce a smoky black tea or oolong tea, the producer can bake the tea leaves over a charcoal fire. All this variety, and we still haven't even begun to touch on different growing regions, picking styles, elevations, and cultivars. Once you get a proper definition of what tea is and what it's not, you can begin to really see the world of tea with fresh eyes and appreciate all the work that goes into growing, harvesting, producing, and tasting this incredible drink. There are other plants that can be used to make hot drinks, but the tea plant really is one of a kind, and there's nothing quite like it in terms of versatility. If you're interested in exploring the world of tea, you can support our channel by going to neoteas.com and picking out some incredible Japanese green tea. After traveling around Japan for the past few years, we've met with dozens of farmers and sampled hundreds of different teas. We've compiled a list of our favorites, which are all grown without the use of pesticides or chemicals. If you have any questions about our teas or about teas in general, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you next time.